Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sailor Letter Squad? As you can see, we're back with Duel. It is it is Tilt Tuesday, but every single god in the game is back open. It's um they they took away the other system, and now every god is back, which is both slightly infuriating because the old system was better. They just messed it up. And then they blamed it on the system. <laughs> but, but, that being said, Select your God. um, there's so many options now. Like, I will say, from a, from a content creation standpoint, the old system put in place was a little bit limiting. But, um... Oh, it was still pretty good. Oh, big yawn. Um, it is Tilt. I'm fighting someone with higher MMR, though. So I kind of have to play someone at least decent during this tilt. I kind of want to play Osiris. A tilt Osiris. Have I played a tilt Osiris before? Hold on, let me go to my YouTube channel. Um, Sam the Dude Osiris. When's my Osiris? Nine months ago? One year ago, three years ago, one year ago. Oh, two months ago, I did ability-based Osiris, but that was in Conquest. That wasn't in Duel. I bet. All right. I'm down. Let's do an Osiris tilt. Oh, push side. Oh, by the way, nine. Okay, there's so much I have to talk about in this, uh, this patch. So... <clears throat> a bunch of items got changed. They're way, 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 way better. Um, I don't actually know Travis. Thank you so much for the sub. Let me turn off notifications, by the way, while I'm recording. Um, I don't actually know what's the best thing to do now. So. Oh god, there's there's actually so much to talk about. Holy crap. Well, let's just start about talking about 9.5 revert. So if you don't know what 9.5 is, it is the 9.5 season 9 mid-season patch, which basically added a bunch of HP and protections to everything in the game. Um all the gods, all the buffs, all the towers, all the the tower jungle bosses, all the buff can literally everything in the game. Um that has been reverted this patch, which basically means everything in the game, every single god, is 28.6% less HP, plus they have less HP per scaling. They have 22% less magical protections, plus 18% uh, less magical protections per scaling. And every phys or every um, god has less physical protections by 28%. And uh, they have less physical protection scaling. So there's a lot of damage going out. And everyone is a lot squishier than they were before. So, um, you know, on top of that, not only are the gods squishier, but the minions are squishier as well, as you can see by the, the clear we're doing. Um, now, there's a little bit extra onto that patch. Like, that might be a good enough mid-season patch by itself. You might be thinking... Tim, why are you, what are you, what are you, you're still talking? There's more to this patch? Oh uh, yeah, there's like a lot more, actually. And it's a little terrifying because every tier two item that killed him, that's a 9.5 revert angle because that would not have killed him otherwise. Um, but I'm just going to alt this, I think. Every tier two item in the game now has a passive. Well, not every single one, but most of the ones have a passive. Um, and it's insane. They have really, really good passives. So what the tier two Blackthorn does, if you, you saw that I, I bought tier two Blackthorn, I'm getting this one right now, finished it. But the tier two Blackthorn basically gives you the smaller effect of Blackthorn where you get under 25% mana, you get basically infinite mana. Um, the tier two gives you that now, but the tier three, obviously unchanged, um, gives you the 10% cooldown as well. So... The goal that they were saying with these changes to the tier two items in this patch was always that they wanted the tier two items to feel more powerful, but not more powerful than a tier three. 
so you never actually want to like hold on to the the tier two by itself obviously unless you have to but uh, basically upgrading it is always going to feel better than holding on to the tier two so that is their goal i do think they missed the mark on a couple of items i'll, I'll showcase those probably a little bit later but uh there's a couple of items where it's just like too much good like bonus stats look how much damage i'm dealing to him by the way because he has so much less hp and less like protections and shit i missed not that it matters but like look at that look at look at how much damage that does man i just get to poke him oh i missed um i kind of just want to go for chester fields here but i don't know where they are oh they're not even spawned yet for some reason in my head i was like four and a half minutes into this game um you are building <coughs> not telekines yet you have telekines now oh cyclopean okay i mean that's a bit weird i feel like where is he there he is i believe you're dead you're going to alt i'm gonna alt it no no look at my damage man look at my damage i don't need to do that much damage to kill him anymore and he's just like oh man the 9.5 revert is so much more fun so in my opinion i know everyone's gonna have their own opinions about you know what the revert does and what, what it what it showcases but like in my opinion the reason the 9.5 revert is so good and why 9.5 in general was really bad um was because hold on he might be like trying to cringe me here yeah he was yeah um but the reason that the 9.5 revert was so bad in my opinion is because um it made the game less of a skill ceiling so like there's three types of skills involved in smite obviously there's hitting the abilities there's positioning and then there is survivability right like positioning kind of plays into survivability but the fact of the matter is like your build which is your survivability aspect is like it's a big deal right like if you're if you're playing poseidon for instance and you are out of position before 9.5 you were dead you know you could maybe you could maybe crack in and get yourself out of a sticky situation just by pure damage but for the most part you are just dead and that is like what i believe should happen i believe that if you mess up with your survivability aspect your positioning stuff like that then you deserve to be punished because the skill floor should be a little bit higher right like you shouldn't be able to just eh i'll crack my way out of this i got damage whatever you should actually have to think about your plan and how you execute it and when you have less survivability aka pre 9.5 um you you need to like spend time thinking about how you're gonna play this matchup how you're gonna build this how you're gonna position to not get poked out you know like it's a lot different like look at this he's he's trying i'm full tank by the way so like i'm still taking damage but not nearly as much as him he does a bancroft though i can maybe kill him actually Hmm. <laughs> that's what i'm talking about man he was greedy he played the greedy play and he died for it dude like i if i if that was the other patch a hundred percent of the time he lives literally 100 percent of the time he survives that and i die but because he's got so much less hp and so much less less protections like you can see right now he only has 1100 hp at level 11 that 
item right there or not the item the the hp stat right there tells you how much better 9.5 is because i think at level at level 12 he's got 1184 he'd have at least 1400 hp at least and that's 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 probably generous but yeah okay never mind i don't mind standing in here uh you did not do the correct play here i'm just gonna walk in here and take this tower uh another thing is towers do less damage because their damage was upscaled because of everyone's have like having more hp and protections before um which i know it didn't feel like that but it was their damage was upscaled a bit so the da towers do less damage and they have less protections and they have less hp so they have the same kind of um i guess stat changes that gods have plus they do less damage he bought a 500 pot which i think is idiotic because he's not winning the fights regardless okay that's pretty good for me honestly i have ages and beads up and i just got his beads for free i think i want to just go i kind of want to go storm seeker but i also kind of want to go aussie so what does tier 2 aussie do on damage of an enemy god with a basic attack gain two physical pen so i gain a little bit of base pen when i auto attack something all right sick that's not bad it's not bad at all it's not bad at all is it hey all and look how fast minions die isn't it beautiful isn't it just beautiful And there's this 500 pod gone. By the way, I could have Aegis the Kraken, but I'm full tank. Like, I, I literally have full tank, and he's got an auto attack item. So, I'm pretty sure that I survive any kind of Kraken that he does right now. I'm also, like... By, by the way, by the way, I just want to point this out, because this is an insane. I have 91 magical protection 91 you might be thinking sam what makes that why why is that insane what's the difference there what do you like the difference is i have 350 or i have um a defensive item with 45 magical protection on it and my scaling is so low i have less than 100 magical protection still that means if i didn't have this item right here i have less than 40 magical protection which is insane. Uh, I, I guess I have technically I have like. No, I literally have like 30, 36 magical protection without that item or something like that. I don't know. Math ain't mathin', but you get the point. Like I just leveled up and I gained one magic protection. So prots are super important. Mages will be bursting you again. So be careful of that. Um, also, I have 2,700 health, which you might be thinking Sam, it's a lot. But with this thing, he bought another 500 pot. What? He bought another 500 pot. But, um, you might be thinking 2,700 health, that's a lot, but it really is not when you factor in the fact that I have 350 health on uh, Blackthorn. I have a lot of health on Frostbound, and I have health from Shoguns. So I'm just like uber tanky. Like, look, look at 350 health plus 200 health plus 150 health. I literally built 700 HP. Which means if I didn't build HP, I'd be under 2,000 as a warrior at almost max level. Like, you couldn't even get kins to proc on me as a warrior at almost max level. Which is insane. It's just insane. Anyways, I'll see you guys in game two. Alright, welcome back to game number two. We're gonna chef Osiris this game. Oh, we're fighting an Osiris. The passive... <laughs> of tier two kins is a, your basic attacks deal an additional 10% of your basic attack damage as physical power. Um, 20 physical power, 15% attack speed. 
Oh, this person is just copying my build because I just beat him last game. <laughs> he got upset he's spaghetti, bro. He got upset he's spaghetti that I beat him. Dude, look at how good tier two Blackthorn is, man. Isn't it insane? Like also shell way, way, way more valuable because you have less HP. So it's a higher percentage of your actual health. So it's a really good item again, all of a sudden. But um, Blackthorn tier two is really OP because it's 25 power, which most tier twos give 20 power. So, you know, like if you go into the power tree, like almost everything gives like 20 power. Some gives 25. Some doesn't give even 20, right? But it's like on the higher end of the physical power you get from a tier two, you get 100 health and you get basically infinite mana. Like I don't have to go to blue buff here because I, I have tier two Blackthorn. Like I just have infinite mana when I'm under 25% health. Oh, he missed everything, so I just, like, punch him in the head here. He's missing everything. Okay, he's just been completely obliterated. He's used all of his potions just now. I didn't miss a single thing, and he missed everything. If I had my stun, by the way, he dies there, which it's a little unfortunate I didn't get my stun. He has sprint, but I have, I have shell. What are you going to do? Hmm? What are you going to do? You're going to kill the guy with shell? That guy, the guy that gets 20% of his HP back when he presses one button? Nope. It would have been bad. Because you would have done... I mean, you would have done the same amount of damage, but like... Shell would have been less effective overall. Insane, man. Insane. I've got red buff. I have permanent mana again. I'm watching his gold. I guess I started watching it a bit too late because I didn't see his stuff go up. Now, the one downside about Blackthorn is that it used to be like 700 gold to upgrade, and now it's 1,100. So you're not going to get the uh, the full Blackthorn upgrade first auto or first buy anymore most times. Unless you like really stretch it out. You're dead, by the way. I'm level five. Nice. Nice. Level five victorious. Level five victorious. Blackthorn hammer acquired. Uh, Berserker's shield coming online. Um, I actually, I could go phalanx to be honest against him, but I don't really need magical protection. So I'm just going to go berserkers. Which I don't think changed. I actually think Berserker Shield gained some physical props, right? This patch. Like, a lot of stuff got nerfed. Um, Like, item-wise, a lot of items got nerfed. A lot of gods got buffed, but a lot of items got nerfed. Um, But I actually think Berserker Shield got buffed to give more protections. I think. But I could just be wrong, to be honest with you. Um, is old glad shield back? I don't even know what that means. Can I do this in time? Yes, I can. I actually think I'm going to max my three because it's a damage reduction. And more importantly, in an Osiris mirror, it's an attack speed reduction, which the attack speed reduction is what's going to win me the game. Bro, there's no way you're building any item out of that tree more importantly than a Berserker Shield. There's just simply no way. This guy was MMR capped, by the way. I, I don't know if you guys, like, I don't know if I kept it in the video or not. But I just beat this guy last game when he was the Poseidon. And 
I gained 100 MMR off of him. Which means he was MMR capped. Because I was like, I was like 3350. Nice. Oh, is he maxing his one instead of his two? Because his two only did 200 damage. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm not. Wait, maybe I'm not. Hold on. Shell. Thank God for Shell. You're dead to archers, by the way. <laughs> oh, he didn't respect it. He didn't respect the fact that he has less protections and less health. He thinks he's tanky all the time. All these 9.5 abusers. All these 9.5 abusers thinking that they can just waltz in and beat up people the normal way. No shot, man. Pre 9.5 is my era. Damage is my era. I thrive here. I live here. Ow. I got some. I missed everything. Um, actually, dude, I'm out trading him so hard. What should my next item be? I'm thinking I still go frostbound or frostbound got changed, right? Actually, now it's not every auto attack. It's every. Wait. Wait, it was supposed to get changed, but it doesn't look like it got changed. Did they change the change? I think they changed the change of Frostbound. So I guess I will not be going Frostbound then. I wonder why I went Jotun's. I think it's just ability based damage. I kind of expected him to fight me. I think he probably could have, to be honest. Oh. Frostbound wasn't changed. It's weird, though, because in the patch notes, they said that Frostbound was going to do this weird thing where it has to ramp up. Like, it starts kind of low. And then every, like, four basic attacks, it will proc Frostbound. Oh, that's tier two Frostbound. Oh, Frostbound itself hasn't gotten changed. Okay, I understand. I understand. Thank you. I'm an idiot. I appreciate you. Um. Your middle tower is under attack. Yeah, so I'm just gonna Frostbound this bitch then. I mean, what's he what's he gonna do? Stop me? All right. He bought a 500 pod. Again. Except I have Frostbound, and I have Horrific too, so... Alright. Alright, you go back. I get this. I'm pretty sure that I cannot die to him right now. Because he, he... There's no way in hell he gets a full defensive item right now. I'm just going to follow him around with fucking frostbound make him forget the fact that he bought a 500 pot and fight him because i'm not scared of him why would i be i have frostbound there you go peace out banana he bought the 500 pot hoping that it helps him like win the fights but it's literally not doing anything for him because his build is just like, I mean, not not to like Omega roast the guy, but Yoans is not a good item in this in this matchup. I mean, the item itself is goaded, but like in this matchup specifically, is what's the point of it? Hello? Ouch! That hit 195. Mine hits 171. Okay, so oh well, that's his passive too. 
got the passive active. Passive active. Ow. I missed. Um, I kind of want to go Aussie next item still. Like, I really feel like I don't need... I really feel like I don't need a whole bunch of, uh... Like, fancy gadgets to win the games anymore. Yeah, like, I just slap an Aussie. Also, what's fun about Aussie... Like I said, other than the fact that it has 10 protection or 10 prots now, not 10 prots, fucking idiot, 10 pen, um, Stormseeker also has 10 pen, which is a very, very good item. Um, if you want to buy that, so I'm down, I'm down to fight. Mono a mono. Boom. I think I can chase him under here, to be honest. Oh, all right. Uh oh. All right. That was worth it for me. The reason that's worth it for me is because I got my wave under tower. So he's not getting any of that XP and gold. And also, he bought a 500 pot. So trading death for death when he has a 500 pot, I mean, I shouldn't have to say it, but, like, obviously, that's that's really good. Um, I guess I just go Kins, right? I don't know if Kins is even good because he only has 2217 health. And Kins only starts doing good damage at 2250. All the way up to 2275. Or 22... 2750. Oh, you spawn that much quicker than me? I guess you are level 14 and I'm level 16, so it makes sense. Um, hello. He bought another 500 pot, by the way. Or that might just be red buff. I can't tell. I think that's just red buff. I don't think he actually bought another 500 pot. Alright, he's got passive active. Or he doesn't anymore. He did when the fight started, but... You do not win this fight. Wait, I've been owned. Oh, he got his passive. He got the passive up right when he uh right when he autoed me the last time, dude. Like the re so the way the reason that I did an alt there is obviously he alts my alt if he's quick with it. But um he couldn't get to me with my two on him. And my three on him. But he got the... Oh, he does have a 500 pot on. It does he? I don't know. I don't know anymore. But he couldn't get to me. And then the passive of Hastened procked in. Unlucky. Unlucky. Well, now he has a 500 pot for sure. If he didn't before, now he does. Where are you going? I'll see. I really want to fight him, but like, he's just going to be in scared. The second I get the tower down, I just go bold even, I think.
All right, red buff is up. My Tuda is about 400. Nice. Fuck it. Right, with red buff and kins, I'm feeling pretty confident. Hungry? Get I missed that. Is he just not ever contesting his memory? Oh, man. Hmm. All right. He's just going to ult out. I'm just going to take tower. My last item, I really feel like should just be a toxic blade, honestly. You're not getting the bonus from Blackthorn. Um, are you sure? Because I do have to be under 25% mana, which means I have to be, I have to be at about 380 mana around there I don't even know if I've dropped that low to be honest with you he still has that that red pot on man I don't know Oh man. I got owned. Yeah, look at how much Kins like so Kins is actually a situational item again. I mean not exactly because like he still has twenty seven fifty health. But I don't understand that actually, because if he is if Kins does max I it's just because I have more health in general, right? I guess. I suppose, I suppose. Um, I kind of don't like my Frostbound all of a sudden. Oh, almost. I kind of feel like I should go, um... Oh, uh, what is the item called? I don't want that. Oh, I think I'm, I'm dead here. Oh, yeah, I think I just lost. Damn, I just lost the game. Alright, fair play, dude. Fair play, dude. I don't his build sucks though, man. I just got outplayed. I think I simply got outplayed this game. Because Yones is stupid. Maybe maybe I just needed pen. Maybe it was as simple as that. Just an XE. Instead of Toxic Blade. Also, XE instead of Frostbound would have won too. Oh well. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.